The program I'm involved with is basically trying to incorporate a lot of Indigenous uh, practices into the classroom. Um, I'm trying to bring the kids outdoors and to value what we have in our community and tie that to the Newfoundland Labrador curriculum that we do have. So for example, um, berry picking would be a really good example. That's what I'm really interested in. So we can tie berry picking to um, science, to math, to language, um, to any areas of the curriculum and I can, I can develop a unit with an interdisciplinary approach to education instead of just having um, a math uh, slot, instead of just having a language slot, um, you can just put it all together and teach um, that way and bring the kids outdoors and get them to see and value things that are in their own environment. In the long term, I would be looking at um, hopefully getting kids to recognize the value of their own culture and how we can use <clears throat> indigenous practices from our culture into our everyday life and, and into our uh, mainstream education system. So really, it's a, we're trying to like marry the two ideas um, instead of having them separated and disjointed. I'd like to see um, Indigenous education valued in our school system with a lot of emphasis on um, local knowledge and bringing that into the classroom. I think it's an, a really good example of um, Indigenous education. Um, it's really hard to separate <clears throat> the, the when we're tied to spe specific outcomes in Newfoundland Labrador, hard to separate um, what's really valued in life. It's really hard to explain what's really valued in life. Um, so what really matters in the end? If you're practicing Indigenous education and Indigenous living and our culture on a daily basis, to me, it only makes sense to practice that in the school too mm -hmm. and bring some of that knowledge into the school instead of looking at a textbook that someone else um, printed and expect you to know. Why can't we value what we already know and build on those ideas? Right. Indigenous education is... Um, really um, encompasses a lot of things. It encompasses culture, uh, language, living off the land, the value that our elders and the wisdom that our elders have and they can share with us, um, storytelling. It's, it's enormous. Um, indigenous education could mean bringing all students together in an inclusive environment um, without separating kids into categories. Why, why can't we just val <coughs> excuse me, why can't we just value every student for who they are mm -hmm. and focus on their strengths? So Indigenous education would be a huge thing about Indigenous education to me would be a connection to the land, a connection to place, a connection to language and a connection to culture. Over the next 10 years, I hope to see um, a huge value placed on Indigenous education in this province. I would hope that Newfoundland Labrador would bring some um, educators and elders from the community together to a round table and help infuse and write some of these ideas into the provincial curriculum <clears throat> for Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people so that um, we have two sides to every like story and um, I hope to see the Indigenous story being told through the curriculum.
You would need a wealth of resources. You would need elders. You would need um, stakeholders in the community, <clears throat> especially in Newfoundland and Labrador. You would need all the um, Indigenous groups in this province come together and develop like a... Um, a goal chart or a wish list of what they want to see in the curriculum. Also, I think it would be really important to have our Indigenous educators um, share their information and their ways of doing things with other um, educators across the province. I think there's a big sweep coming across the country for Indigenous education and Personally, for me, growing up in Labrador, I found that um, we were kind of undervalued. The Indigenous peoples in Labrador were kind of undervalued when it came to education. And now I, I, I've i come full circle. So when I grew up, um, I learned Inuktitut. I um, learned different languages, French, English, Inuktitut. But Inuktitut was the, the least value was placed on that and now I see it all coming back and I've seen myself come full circle so I was stuck in a in an education system that was um, more Eurocentric and now it's coming back to where I have the freedom I kind of have the freedom to bring the in what I know about indigenous education into the into the school system so I'm really happy about that